the Electrolux Ultra Performer. This vacuum just proves why computers and vacuums should not go together because this thing is an absolute piece of junk and it retails for so much money. Can't use it for more than five minutes without it overheating even though it's fully clean. And I just kept this as the vacuum I use in the house, but no, you're not allowed to use it, just overheat every five minutes. And if it's not doing that, it's throwing some stupid error code. Just keeps throwing these random numbered error codes. And of course, there's no point trying to sell it or fix it because you can't and no one wants to buy it. What is the point of a vacuum having a stupid computer in it? As far as I can tell, you just turn it on and turn it off. It doesn't need anything else. And the buttons on it are stupid and you get stuck. Wow, it turns on and it's going to turn on so shortly after because it's a piece of junk. Oh, what's that? It's got an error. Oh, it's turned back on. Put handle. What's happening? The motor's got some problems. Motor's blowing up. Come on, Ultra Performer, where's that error code to tell me what's wrong? Turn back on. Why is it sparking like that? Hmm, didn't trip the brake up. Come on! I have to do to turn the motor on and everyone's gonna think I'm gonna get electrocuted even though I'm insulated but everyone's just so much smarter than me apparently must be right whatever they say yep thought so error code so it won't be able to just burn itself out easily no I just gotta smash the motor out and wire it up directly oh man that flashing error code it's just too annoying and of course, instead of claiming warranty, people just give these away because they just go and buy a brand new one and that's why these companies can make this stuff. And the canister design on it is really stupid and clunky and I don't like it. And it's got this thing, I don't know what it is. The whip cord. It's bad, it can whip. It's so good destroying this thing. It's so stupid. Gotta have the ultra high tech computer in the vacuum because apparently it needs it. But then I get the store brand vacuum and they just last and last and last and never give up because they don't have stupid computers in them. Alright, motor's out. Try and burn it out. Uh, I guess no motor burnout. It just buzzes and shuts off because it has a thermal safety switch and it rated it. 115 degrees Celsius, that's what it says on it. Oh, I guess no fancy burnout. Smash all the pieces. I don't want anyone using any of it. Why would anyone want to? Stupid hose and buttons. Ultra performer, ultra piece of junk.